And that does it for us today. We'll be back with another edition of America Decides Monday at 5 p.m. Eastern. The Daily Report with John Dickerson starts right now. Welcome to The Daily Report for June 20th, 2024. I'm John Dickerson. On the weapons of war, a dispute and a diversion. The Israeli prime minister claims the U.S. has slowed its shipment of arms. The Biden team says not so. The flow of arms to Ukraine is changing, though. To get missiles there faster, administration officials say they are rerouting ones intended for other allies. The Supreme Court rules on the structure of the tax system, averting fiscal chaos. We'll learn about that and remind ourselves of how much more work the justices have ahead of them this term. We'll talk to the former governor of Indiana, Mitch Daniels, about one party rule, the dangers of a political system where power rests in concentrated hands. Plus, New York adopts a social media law for teenagers, an update on the fires and the heat, and extra time on the space station for the astronauts from the Boeing Starliner. And finally, a discovery of a vessel on the other end of the human timeline, a Bronze Age ship from the period where humans first sailed beyond sight of the shore and navigated by stars. Stars up where those astronauts are now spinning. The Daily Report starts in a moment. Hello, thank you for joining us. We begin our report with sniping and discord in relations between the U.S. and Israel. Three weeks ago, President Biden announced a roadmap to end the war in Gaza. Since then, Israel has accused the U.S. of withholding weapons. Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu has dissolved his war cabinet. And the White House has canceled a strategic meeting with Israeli officials. Members of the Biden administration were supposed to meet with Israeli representatives Thursday to discuss threats from Iran. But the White House is frustrated over Netanyahu's social media post accusing the United States of pausing weapon shipments, something the administration denies. White House spokesperson John Kirby called the video perplexing. Netanyahu responded to that Thursday, saying, quote, I am ready to suffer personal attacks provided that Israel receives from the United States the ammunition it needs in the war for its existence. Meanwhile, the United States is shifting military policy to accommodate another global conflict, the war in Ukraine. The White House says shipments of air defense missiles that were intended to go to other U.S. allies will now be redirected to Ukraine. Kirby calls it a difficult but necessary decision. This will ensure that we'll be able to provide Ukraine with the missiles they need to maintain their stockpiles at a key moment in the war. If any of our other partners were ever in a situation similar to Ukraine's, uh, we would go to extraordinary lengths to support their security as well. CBS News national security correspondent David Martin joins me now. David, let's start with Ukraine. What do we know about the types of missiles that the U.S. is now fast-tracking to Ukraine? Well, these are uh, air defense 